have a lot of hands. Like I was right, for a minute. <laughs> okay, so Angel, you said you're not gonna buy any fabric. Not buying any fabric. Heard this first. Not buying fabric. This, this is us walking into a fabric den, but not buying fabric. Figure out how to actually do it first. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, so cool. Things there are. Can I go upstairs? Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Let me get out your way. Oh, hey, Judy. I found some clearance. You know, for the person who said they uh, weren't going to get any fabric. Yeah. It smells brand new in there. Must have just been built not long ago. And did you see behind the counter she had a kitchen? No. No. A stove and a sink. There was a, one of those flat top stoves right there where she was. Probably a refrigerator underneath the cat counter. Yeah. That must have been her husband a upstairs. sink. Everything yeah. was really neat. But you know, that's probably where she works. Yeah. Making all those quilts. So it's set up she can. Yes, a sewing there. machine upstairs. Because yesterday when they were closed and I called, it was probably her that answered. Yeah. Probably. Oh, hey, um, I had a whole bit prepared for like, you know, when they actually bought some fabric and I, um, I made it a point for, you know, me to repeat what Aunt Judy said, that we're not going to buy anything there and... I thought it was going to be humorous, and then, um, nobody bought anything. So, it was really lovely. We learned about the Row by Row, um, project. It was a really nice little space, but, yeah, it was a nice little place. Um, and that was it. That, 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 nothing else happened, so. Yeah. Um, and worth stopping by. So, Yeah. That was part of our journey, so I will share it, even if the joke that I thought was going to land so well failed so miserably.